New at six, Wisconsin is home to the oldest running diner in the United States. But after a tough year with COVID and protests, they're back and will be seen on a national scale. Uba Ali takes us to this iconic eatery. Like I said, I've been coming here since 1992 and uh, I know, to know what to expect. And for Steve Watrin, Frank's Diner always leaves him wanting to come back for more. This community staple has been around since 1926, and while it may be small, it's packed with great food and even better company. The sense of humor you'll, you'll find here is like nowhere else, really. Kevin Irvin and his wife have owned Frank's Diner for 10 years and say it's been a wild ride. Yeah, that's a great feeling, that knowing that you're really part of a community. People expect you to be here, they want you to be here. Irvin says even during the pandemic and the protests following the Jacob Blake shooting, the community stepped up. Kenosha Mayor says, quote, Frank's Diner is a staple of the community and a great example of the strength of Kenosha. Now the diner is open, the food is sizzling, and the smiles are contagious, and for good reason. But what is Frank's Diner known for? It's a dish called garbage plate. It's a little bit of hash, eggs, and everything your heart desires. It's the one dish of many that keeps people coming back. The garbage plate cannot be outdone. But Kenosha residents know they aren't the only ones making the trip for the mashup of food. Even Guy Fieri stopped by. We've had people from Australia. Yeah, yeah they've seen it on the Food Network overseas. You heard that right. The diner has been on the Food Network before and will be featured on diners, drive-ins and dives August 20th. They're going to see us make some really good food, a couple of our specials. Irvin couldn't dish out the details, but he says viewers will get a great understanding of what the place stands for. If you come in, please be patient. We are small, but we're good. In Kenosha, Uba Ali, TMJ4 News.